the bottle. She just wiped it off. Mm. Cool. She just wiped it off. Yeah. And she stood up for God in that moment. Yeah, and well. there's a lot of people right now who are probably not even able to watch YouTube. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another webisode here at Royals Church. Um, today I'm joined by my husband, Dalma, and my name is Hope. And today we get to close this amazing series mm. we've been doing, which is the Be Attitudes. And Pastor Adam brought a very powerful and convicting word this morning yes. around the last Be Attitude, which is found in Matthew 5, verse 10 to 12. Dalma, do you mind reading that out for us? Yeah, for sure. And it uh, reads here, Blessed are those who are persecuted, because of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are you when people insult you mm. persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you yeah and that was amazing because pastor adam really broke down what persecution actually is yeah. Um, as in what it was in the Bible, um, then brought it into what happened to Jesus and then brought it into a current contextualized situation now, what persecution looks like. Yeah. And I thought it was very interesting. Pastor Adam's first point was persecution is a spirit. Mm. Um, and I don't know about you, but when Pastor Adam brought that, at some reason, we just think of persecution as being an act or something that people do. But yeah. the Bible says that, you know, behind what we see in the flesh, there's mm. always a spirit behind it. So yeah, very true. it was very interesting that Pastor Adam brought that the first point was persecution is a spirit. Mm. And he brought that example that was from early on in the um, in Genesis where Cain and Abel, Abel yep. obviously had that situation happen. And obviously there was a spirit behind it of persecution. There mm. was a spirit of jealousy. There was yes. these spirits at, at play that was going on. And um, Pastor Adam brought it really um, in a beautiful way to explain this, that persecution is a spirit that takes over our flesh. Yes. And a lot of the times when we hear about persecution in the Bible, especially in the Bible, um, and then today, a lot of the times we actually see people physically retaliating mm. with persecution, right? Mm. What type of things have you read or heard that what does persecution look like? Yeah, so um, persecution. So growing up in school, yep. I, um, uh, there was this one guy, everyone knows you have this one guy <laughs> where, um, you know, he always knew how to, um, how to tick people off or <laughs> bully people. Mm. And um, yeah, he was bullying me and some other people continuously. And I didn't react. I didn't, you know, allow my anger or things to uh, to overcome that I was just like you, you know what all right I kind of just have to focus on my work I have mm. to focus on um, you know what I'm doing in class this was at school so mm. it's like yeah I don't have time for that <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that I just you know kept doing was I just didn't let that affect me mm. or affect who I was or um, what I was you know planning to do in school um, and the, the funny thing is that uh, as I began to grow in God and um, venture off into other worship, uh, you know, like arenas such as like Youth Alive and stuff mm. like that, which was really cool. I actually seen the same guy there. No way. Um, and looking, looking back at it, I was like, wow, that guy, is this the same guy? Like, yeah. that's the same guy that, you know, persecuted, bullied kids at my school, now loves Jesus. Wow. And I guess to... We, we have to come to a realization that, you know, in the presence of your enemies, mm. we, we, have to, we have to realize that God is doing something on our behalf yeah. in, in the unseen. Mm. You know, in a place where I could have, you know, retaliated or um, began to outwork in anger and stuff mm. like that, I didn't. I choose not to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I chose not to, sorry. And I began to just, you know, love him and mm. just, you know, respect him for, you know, the person that I saw behind those, you know, sort of manners or stuff like that. So, yeah, I think, yeah, my my sort of realization is that we can never underestimate in the midst of persecution what God is actually doing in the underlining. Yeah, yeah. really good. And obviously you can see in that moment that you're saying this guy you then got to see in a Christian setting later on, which is amazing. And that's an amazing testimony. But obviously in that moment where he was 
obviously persecuting you at school and the other Christian friends you yep. had, that there was a spirit behind it mm. that obviously had taken over his flesh to mm. actually retaliate and bully in that way the Christian people yeah. in his class. And so you could see that he was like dramatically changed. In the physical like, too, wow. It, like it wasn't just like, okay, maybe he, you know, gave his heart to the Lord and he mm. kept the traits. No, he was a completely different person. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. And then Pastor Adam went on, and obviously for us, one of the, one of the most dramatic persecutions that we obviously all learn about as, as Christians is when Jesus was persecuted. Yes. Um, and obviously we can see throughout Jesus' life, there were so many examples of where he was persecuted um, for obviously what he believed and for what he was doing because we know that Jesus came mm. and he was about to change everything up. He mm. literally did change everything up. Yep. And so we can see that he was persecuted not only just from non-believers, but we actually saw Pharisees yep. and kings yep. and people in government actually all persecuted Jesus. Um, especially Pastor Adam brought this particular part today is that Jesus, he, and this is one of the most beautiful um, parts of the, of um, the Bible I love to, to read is when Jesus got up and actually re read um, Isaiah, he's mm. the, f the word became flesh. And then the flesh of obviously Jesus is reading mm. the word and Pastor Adam brought this today is after he read this, he was actually very much persecuted for mm standing up and actually declaring who he actually was. Mm. And a lot of the times for us as Christians, getting up and declaring who we are, because we are obviously Christians, we're yep. known as being Christians, which is little, little Christ. Christ. Yep. So when we stand up for our faith, in the same way we're gonna see that Jesus was persecuted, so were we. And so we can see in many, many occasions um, through Jesus's life where he mm. was persecuted. Yeah, I think um, Pastor Adam's second point, Jesus, you know, was persecuted. Yes. It sort of gives a picture that, hey, like, you know, when you give your life to the Lord, it's not like Jesus get like Jesus. Just imagine Jesus. He, you know, the King of all Kings is yep. is being persecuted, and yeah. us as giving our lives to the Lord, we sort of have that picture that our life is going to be, you know, just so sunshine and butterflies, and it's going to yeah. be an easy road. But hey, in that same way that Jesus was persecuted, yeah. he too that lives in within us, like. We are going to have, you know, times and Very you know so. trials that we have to face. But the thing is, the difference is when we gave our life to the Lord, we have someone to to lean to, mm. uh, to go Amen. to the shepherd in the valley, in the mountain, in the track, to to the mountain or to the peak. Yeah. Like that, we have Jesus to go to as the example yeah, for as, our lives. As the example, say, hey, mm. if you can, you know, if you can, you know, rise from the dead. Yep. Then you know, surely the things, the persecutions that are killing me, mm. I can too rise above from that. Yeah, and yeah. we get to see obviously Jesus. The ultimate part of that was Jesus actually on the cross and what yeah. he went through yeah. in, and how he was physically crushed and beaten. Yeah which is ultimate persecution we can see there. Mm. One of the things Pastor Adam brought out, which was very interesting, is that when we um, read this particular verse that you brought before in Matthew, mm. um, a lot of the time we think that persecution or punishment is for something we've done wrong. But yeah. in Jesus's case, he was actually doing everything right because he mm. says, I only do what I see yep. my father doing. Mm. So he was only doing what he saw his father or, or what his father instructed him to do. Mm. So he wasn't doing the wrong thing. And what's so amazing back in that verse, it says, blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. They're mm. not persecuted because they're doing the wrong thing. Yep. Actually, there's a persecution that takes place for actually standing up for righteousness. Yes. And I don't know about you, Doma, but if mm. you've ever been put into a situation where the right thing to do in that moment and you stand up for God and you stand up for what you believe and you stand mm. up for righteousness is mm. actually this this persecution that is being spoken about in this yep. verse. It's not for doing the wrong thing, but standing up for righteousness is what this verse is saying that yeah. blessed are you who are persecuted not because you're doing the wrong thing, but because you are doing the right thing because yeah. of righteousness sake. And then it goes to say, therefore, um, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And mm. probably brings us to our last point, which Pastor Adam brought, which in kind of two parts, he brought this last bit. Mm. He spoke about, okay, what there was number one, which was persecution as a spirit. Then we looked at Jesus mm. in his persecution as a human being. But then finally, actually talking about us today. And this was really probably the practical side of this mm. verse is that 
saints will be persecuted. Yep. That's what the point number three will, was. And then the part B of that is saints are still persecuted today. Mm. And I don't know about you, but it moved me so much today when Pastor Adam just read out that list of the top 10 countries oh, yes. that Christians are mm. highly persecuted for their faith, mm. really persecuted for their faith. Growing up as, as a missionary kid, um, we would read and watch a lot of reports from other missionaries. And mm -hmm. I just remember so many times just reading about stories of other people, other families, just like mine, they were on the mission field, being persecuted in these countries for their faith, mm. being persecuted for standing up for God, being persecuted for exactly what this verse says, because of righteousness, because they stood up and they proclaimed the gospel. And so this was something that was really um, touching today. And can I just encourage us all, we as the church, mm. we have it so good here. Yes. We have, it's, it's amazing. We get to gather together every Sunday in this amazing building, mm -hmm. pray, worship, lift our hands with no even, th no thought in our mind that anyone's gonna rock up, put a gun to our heads, gonna rock up, yeah. tell us it's over, yeah. no more meeting. Mm. That's not gonna happen to mm. us, but there is people around the world right now saints today are still being persecuted yeah. for their faith and i remember one particular story um, that i got to watch in a video form when i was younger is um, was a video about the underground church in china and i remember this video being put out where this this um, gathering was together mm. um, and they obviously had to hide because christians were persecuted over there over and over and time again and these police turned up and they literally forced everyone to spit on the Bible. And if they didn't, mm. they were shot. And so wow. a lot of people in that moment spat on the Bible and this one girl, she came over to the Bible and she just wiped it off. Mm. Ooh, she just wiped it off. Yeah. And she stood up for God in that moment. Yeah, and wow. there's a lot of people right now who are probably not even able to watch YouTube or be in a situation like we are in this yeah. amazing where we can freely YouTube. read the word, have access to it through many different devices and multiple mm. avenues of the gospel. But there is people who are standing up and being persecuted for their faith. Mm. One thing that I just want to finish with and go on to talk about just a little bit before we finish today is Pastor Fitch had actually mentioned um, in our team meeting before we went into um, uh, today's and she spoke about how isn't it interesting the first be attitude the the second half of it mm. was theirs is the kingdom of God yeah and then this final one is the second half of it mm -hmm. is there for those who are persecuted yeah. for theirs is the kingdom of God and really everything we do is obviously to build the kingdom of God yeah wow yeah and it was That's so right. interesting in how that was brought in this and also what another part which I thought was very interesting, I don't know about you, but this is the only be attitude where it's actually Jesus expands on it. Yeah, and flows on from it. Yeah, yeah. because like in the other be attitudes which we've been learning and we've been learning as mm -hmm. circle groups every week, this breaking down is usually there's a first sentence which is blessed are those and then it has the um, obviously the state in which that person is and then obviously what they're blessed with. But then this one was very interesting because it starts off and it says, blessed are the, uh, sorry, blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of God. But then it goes on and Jesus goes, actually, I think we need to expand on this mm. because Jesus knew, isn't this amazing? Jesus knew as he was delivering this sermon on the Mount mm. that you and I today would sit here mm. and need to be equipped and mm. need to be taught and need to be warned and need to be prepared that we will actually go through persecution as well. That final yeah. point Pastor Adam brought, saints will be persecuted. So Jesus was standing on this mount mm. speaking to you and I today and going on and said, blessed are you, um, blessed are you when people insult you. So he goes and he's obviously talked about persecution, righteousness, but he feels like there's a need to expand this further. Yeah. Blessed are you when people insult you. Mm. Do you feel blessed when people insult you, Delma? At the time, <laughs> maybe not, but as I reflect in my prayer time, yeah, I am. Yeah. I, think, I think one thing that Pastor Adam uh, really spoke about too is that um, if you don't feel, like if you aren't persecuted, like 
actually uh, he stated first when when you are you know being persecuted maybe it's because you are shining the light the most in wow in, in your situation yeah, yeah in mm. situations or to your peers or um, to you know the nations in a very backyard in our workplaces and stuff mm. like that and so I was like wow okay you know I sort of did like a real check like okay yeah I am kind of persecuted so it's a good sort of indication <laughs> like I am shining the light and mm. then and one one thing also that he stated was that you know at the end of like say your biggest you know the biggest persecu uh, persecutions in your life mm. um, the biggest blessings are to come biggest rewards. yeah the yeah. biggest rewards are to come if mm. you you know stay the path if you stay in the river if mm. you run the lane and run your course well mm. um, yeah, bigger reward the it bigger says. the reward yeah. it shall be and that's one thing that I you know want to live by is that you know what mm. my my focus is not on that persecution but it's on you know what God is going to bless me you know yes. the provision the reward the that reward, he is going to yeah. bless me with if I just stay the path and stay grounded mm. in in the foundation of the word yes and, um, and, and who I am in God then mm. I will see the breakthrough that you know that I've been praying for or seeking for and I just want to encourage you as well is that yeah. stay the fight stay the path and yes. watch God move mountains in your life amen and then that verse goes on to talk about persecuted uh, persecute you and false call you all kinds of evil against you because of me mm. and so we we obviously know that exactly what we're talking about we're not being persecuted for no reason it's because yep. of what we stand up for yep. and then i love what it goes on to say rejoice and be glad mm -hmm. and that was what we were saying in the yep. moment it doesn't feel good when you're at your workplace yep. and people are mocking you for being a christian mm. or for what you're doing or uh, the way you're acting or even in your school kids youth that are watching this for youth circles yeah. for people for there's going to be times that you stand up for god in your schools and people are going to say things about you they're going to tease you yeah. but god is saying here rejoice and be glad because yeah. great is your reward in heaven mm. great is the reward for mm. in the same way they persecute the prophets who were before um, was who were before you. Mm. So isn't it so encouraging to know that actually in the moment we're going, why are you teasing me? Why are you insulting me? Why is this coming towards me? <laughs> but we know it's actually because we're standing up for God and he promises that there is a reward for those who do this. And that yeah. is, that's worth living for. That's worth dying mm. for. That's worth standing up for righteousness sake. So today, can I just say, we bless you yes. and exactly what this verse says blessed are those who persecuted because of righteousness and to end that how he said there rejoice and be gl glad because great is your mm. re reward in heaven great is our reward if we stick this path great mm. is this reward as we know that things are going to come our way in persecution yeah, all different forms yeah good physical verbal emotional whatever that may on. be yeah. it could go on but god has promised in his word mm. and he promised from his own mouth in matthew 5 10 and all these blessings all these beatitudes have been such an amazing time to study yeah. and we're about to go into our new series which is beautiful starting next week but can i encourage you go back over these beatitudes go back over these blessed because yeah. god doesn't want to just get up and jesus did not just get up on this mountain to read these out just for to tickle our ears but he wants to impact your life today when he was standing up on that mount, he thought about us, mm. his children who'd be reading this today, knowing that we are a blessed people and you are blessed. So Amen. we bless you in the name of Jesus and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for joining us here on the Royals YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if this has blessed you, feel free to share it with your friends and family. We can't wait to see you next time for another glorious gathering.